recording in progress. Hello and welcome to Key Stage 3 Science Biology. This particular lesson is all about nutrition and carrying out food tests. So let's go through this together. So healthy eating and regular exercise are essential for physical and mental health. The nutrition groups are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, fiber, and water. A balanced diet is made up of all the above nutrients. There are chemical tests for carbohydrates, proteins, and fats that scientists can actually carry out. So remember, to have a balanced diet, which means the best of all different types of nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and vitamins, minerals, fibers, and water, it's essential for the human body to actually uptake various different types of nutrients to stay healthy. And uh, scientists carry out chemical tests for carbohydrates, proteins, and fats on different types of foods to establish how much fat a particular food has or how many carbohydrates it has or how rich in protein it is. So let's have a look at carbohydrates first of all. So carbohydrates consist of starch and different types of sugar. For example, glucose, the sugar our bodies use for respiration. We need carbohydrates to give us energy and starch is actually made up of smaller glucose molecules joined together. So bread, pasta and cereals, they contain a lot of carbohydrates. Chemical tests for starch. So <clears throat> to work out how much starch a particular food item has, you just add two drops of yellow-brown iodine solution to the food solution. And the solution itself will then turn blue or black if there is starch present in that particular type of food. A chemical test for glucose, just add a few drops of Benedict's solution, uh, which is a ready-made solution to food solution, and heat in a water bath until it boils. If glucose is present, an orange or red precipitate will form. Let's have a look at fats now. So fats are made up of fatty acids and glycerol. We need fats for a store of energy to make cell membranes and for warmth that's like insulation to keep us warm. Let's have a look uh, how we can work out if a particular food item contains fat. So the chemical test for fat is just add two centimeter cube of ethanol to the food solution in the test tube and shake it. Add two centimeter cube of water to the test tube and then shake it again. And fat is present if the solution turns cloudy white. Let's go through our third component, which is water. So water makes up approximately 65% of your body. So water makes up approximately 65% of your body weight. So food and drink contain water. And water is important because our blood plasma is mainly water. Water is in sweat that cools us down. And chemical reactions in our cells take place in water. So waste products are removed from our bodies through water. So water is a very, very important component of our bodies. So just remember that proteins, fats, fibers, water, vitamins and minerals, carbohydrates are different nutrients in our bodies. And um, it's important to have a balanced diet. So a little bit of all these nutrients and different types of foods that we eat. If we eat more of uh, carbohydrates uh, than anything else or fats, then it will make us unhealthy. So it's important to have a balanced diet. But to work out how much fat or carbohydrates there are in particular foods, there are tests that scientists do, or we can do them. And this particular topic tells you how those tests are done. Okay, so good luck with this topic answer the relevant questions and we'll review these in our next class. Take care.